Folks, welcome back. My name is Rudy. You're watching Alpha Investments. Today, uh, we're going to be doing a conversation on... Does that make a difference? Can you guys see lighting there? Does that make any difference at all? I want to have these lights around. Maybe not. Today's conversation is on the world-famous print run information because, quite frankly... Oh, I didn't see you all there. Quite frankly, the amount of messages and the amount of just awful information is just so bad. I'm wearing my college, like, busing tables, waiting tables from Buca de Beppo when I was slinging drinks and serving alcohol and drinks in college because I'm sweaty and dirty, and I've just... I, I gotta make this video. This video is gonna be very divisive. It's gonna make a lot of people upset. It's gonna have a lot of assumptions that people are gonna be angry and think everything's... So this is gonna be a sensitive video, so we're gonna have to get through the disclosures and legal stuff first. First, um, Hasbro, in their recent report, made a comment that Kamigawa had $100 million in gross revenue. Top line cash it generated, not profit, top line revenue. And in this video, we're gonna be discussing it regarding draft set collector, supplemental products, retail blister stuff, non-English around the world, and digital, this and all this stupid stuff. So first, I have to get through some things before we put on the pink visor, and you guys know it's a real video. Number one. There's going to be things like the pricing that some of it, I know the exact pricing, but I'm not going to be able to use the exact pricing because as they say in the internet, it would be oddly, suspiciously, too specifically, it'll be too specific that I have that information. Number two, um, you guys are probably going to attack all kinds of different things that you may not like, but the point of this video is, is print runs. It's 2022. With all these new Kickstarter games starting to fail, I'm, I'm hearing crazy stories of some Kickstarter stuff and people disappearing with money in print run conversations. People are coming to me saying, Rudy, well, Wizards of the Coast is printing like 800,000 booster boxes or a million booster boxes. This is the print run. Rudy, the print run of Dominaria, the new one with Legend, the Collector, it's going to be a million. And then, you know, and then I'll get a Well, Rudy, that's why, you know, well, a supplemental game like Weiss or Pokemon or Flesh and Blood or Metazoo can print 100,000 or 200,000 boxes because, you know, Wizards is printing a million boxes. Okay. All right. Slow your roll. I know everybody's upset because you come home and your wife's boyfriend is still there and he hasn't left yet because Netflix is a long movie. But I want to I break this down. And I'm going to give you guys, in my opinion, the most accurate, best example of this you're ever going to get on the internet. And this is something I've been wanting to do for a while, but I don't like this type of video because, number one... It's not going to be appreciated. Number two, it's going to get a lot of threats, attacks, and a lot of BS towards me. And there's not much benefit of me making it. But some of you out there, I think, are actually intelligent, and you're not a Timmy, and you will appreciate this video. So let's get right into it. Now, Hasbro stated, Kamigawa generated 100 million sales. All right? Let's just start the video. Three minutes and 15 seconds in. So, what do we know about that? We know the following. On average... A draft box, when sold in two different... Okay, so all these products in this in this video on how we're going to derive this number in print runs across the board is going to be based on a certain ratio. We know draft and set. We know set is slightly outselling draft now, but they're pretty neck and neck. We know collector boxes are usually around 50% of draft and set, and they kind of scale proportionally. We know supplemental products are a certain percentage of overall the same thing. In other words, if you're going to print 1,000 a, a booster boxes, you don't print 1,000 theme decks. It's a certain ratio. Like a thousand, for every thousand boxes, you maybe do you know ten to twenty supplementals. So everything's a certain ratios. Now, we also know that a good 10, 15 percent of Magic is international, and that's non-English products, which are also factored into the Kamigawa uh, basket of 100 mil gross rev. Uh, for this particular video, we're going to actually put digital as zero. So we're going to make the assumption that this number is not impacted by Magic Arena, Magic Online, or any digital packs that are labeled Kamigawa. Now, this is the one category I don't know is true or not. So we're going to put digital at 0%, okay? So we're just going to assume right out of the gate that the, the whole digital thing is going to be 0 So we're going to assume right out of the gate, digital is not going to be packed. In, although, technically... A virtual Kamigawa pack that's purchased for real money would fall under the basket of a Kamigawa product. They didn't say Kamigawa paper. They didn't say Kamigawa digital. They said Kamigawa brought in. But we're going we're gonna to make it the most bearish, overprinted scenario 
to make the printed to oblivion dumbasses in the world understand where we're at. So, let's, this video is going to get really cool. I'm, hopefully some of you guys actually stick with this and hopefully it's worth all the time and effort I put into this crap. And again, thanks for all the thousands upon thousands of patrons. You're really the reason I'm going to put the entire afternoon I've been working on this just to do this one video, which will probably bring in $30 in ad revenue. But I appreciate you all and thank you for allowing me to do this. And I know some of you appreciate it. Okay, so draft boxes. Every category is going to break down into two. We're going to have LGS distribution, how much money the distributors are paying to Papa Bezos, or Papa Bezos, paying the Wizards, and then we're going to have the Amazon effect. So each category is going to have alligator mouth, okay, with a little bit of teeth, maybe a little bit of teeth for tacos, and we're going to have the Bezos, okay, the Papa Bezos, and then we're going to have LGS model, okay? So we're going to have a separate category with the alligator mouth. Actually, let's just make them Pac-Man. Pac-Man's a cool, or Pac-Woman? Too soon? We're going to do something like that. So we're going to have two categories that it breaks down to. Now, basically, distributors are going to pay. We're going to use an even number. Anything that's coincidentally to be accurate is all made up. Remember, I'm a cat. I'm not even a licensed advisor. I'm in a basement. I'm wearing a high school shirt where I used to bust tables in. Get a real advisor if you're curious. So we're going to base it on L distributors pay wizards $70 a box even. Okay? We're going to make up an arbitrary even number. They actually pay wizards more than that. It's more than 70 a box that distributors pay wizards, but that's not what the video is about. That's all I'm going to get into on that. Now, Papa Bezos, on average, wizard sells direct through Amazon, Wizards of the Coast to the public. On average, Kamigawa draft boxes were sold for about $100 a box on average on Amazon. Now, we're not going to get into the fees and fulfillment and storage of Amazon because that's not what this video is about. The video is about how did they get $100 million top line gross, not EBITDA, not cost of goods sold, not write downs, goodwills, your ex, and you know, nightly dinners and all this creepy shit. No, top line. That's all we're doing. So we know Bezos sells, brings in gross revenue of 100 a box, and we know distribution is 70 even. Even though it's higher, we're being bearish here. Now, I'm going to base my scenario on, I'm going to be very bearish, 250,000 booster boxes. Okay? 250,000. That's what we're going to do. So, LGS, 250K. A quarter million draft booster boxes at $70 brings in 18 mil in revenue. 18 mil, okay? 18 million, okay? Papa Bezos selling at a higher margin, which is why Papa Bezos and Wizards of the Coast, uh, you know, I'm going to leave this Rolex on the desk for you. You don't have to take it. It's not a bribe, but it's just extra. I'm going to leave it on my way out. Okay. So, Papa Bezos, I'm going to say, eh, what do you guys think? 20,000? This one was a little curious. 20, I'm going to do 20,000 boxes. So, about 10% of the print run flows through Papa Bezos, which would bring in approximately, eh, let's just call it 4 mil. 4 mil. So, we are right now, we are sitting at, eh, we'll add it up later. We'll add it up later. Okay, next we're going to go to set boxes. This is going to get fun, folks. Set boxes. Distribute. Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. <clears throat> All right, we got our Pac-Man. We got. Pa I'm, so, I'm sorry. This one's Mrs. Pac-Man. We are equal Pac-Man opportunity here, folks. So we've got the LGS, and we got Papa Bezos Penis Rocket Incorporated. I can't even spell Papa Bezos. Maybe it's a mental block. All right. So instead of seventy a box, set boxes are more expensive. We're gonna call Wizards actually brings in seventy-five a box. And 120 is the average sell price through Papa Bezos. My goodness. And we're, I know I know set boxes are slightly outselling, but we're going to make it equal for math. So set boxes, same. We're going to do 250K boxes, okay? 250K boxes at $75 a box brings in 19 mil, ladies and gentlemen. And then, of course, through Papa Bezos at a whopping 120 you see why Wizards of the Coast likes Amazon, am I right? Okay. Holy cow, really? Is it really bringing that much? Two and a half million? Let's just round it to three million. Because like, I said they sold a little bit extra. Wow, really? Dang, that's crazy. I guess $120 a box. When you sell that many boxes, I guess that really is kind of crazy, huh? All right, let's just say 25k boxes. 10%, right? So let's keep it kind of the equal ratio there. All right, so as you can see, we're starting to get all this lined up here. So let's hop into part two of this video, and I just wanted you guys, I want to lay this out. It's important, seriously. All right, so part two of the video, 
had to get a water break and, you know, make sure everything's still performing functionally. Now we're going to go into collector boxes. Now, let's hop over here. Collector boxes. All right, same thing. We got the Pac-Man split. We got the LGS distribution model. And, of course, we got good old Papa Bezos. God, I can't even write that left-handed backward. All right, Pac-Man. Uh, this one's just creepy Rudy's ex Pac-Man. And uh, let's put an eyeball there. Eyeball that. I forgot, forgot to get the Pac-Man the eyeball. Actually, you know what? Let's some Pac-Man's even got arms and a leg. No, this one, it's got a hat on. Uh, this Pac-Man is a fish. See, it makes, it makes the video more fun! You in the back, turn the camera off. Get out of here. Fooling around like this is a serious channel. All right, collector boxes over here. All right, so we got the same thing. Now, collector boxes, uh, distributor cost, I'm going to just make an even number, $150 a box. Okay? It's an even number. It's not quite that number. Um, but it's close enough, but it's an even number. So 150 is what distributors are paying. Now, Papa Bezos sells average Kamigawa at 200 a box. So, well, here's the kicker. Rudy, you're, what are you going to put the collector box print run for? Glad you asked. I'm going to put it at 150,000. 125k box is a collector. And of course, 25k through Papa Bezos. Now that brings in a whopping 19 mil and it brings in a whopping five mil okay these numbers add up pretty damn quick and why do you guys think they print like a million boxes what is i don't under does anyone take the time to think if they printed a million of each box what that would be like this is like this is why I want, I'm like, am I, I really spending the time doing this? Because it's like, I feel like no one's taking the time to be like, oh, gee, I guess they really can't print a million boxes of Call of Dash. God, I, I, like, I'm not going to turn this into a rant video. But I genuinely have concerns of the lack of education in common sense in 2020. Maybe 2020, the, when they had to ban all the in, insensitive magic cards and all this weird stuff happened. Maybe it just, it, it really, we went into like a parallel matrix uh, slide to an alternate dimension, flat earth, reptile, Rudy face, and I'm a cyborg. I don't even know. But I swear, people are just getting dumber in the conspiracy theories, in the fake news, and it's just out of control how much goofy shit's going on. And people send me messages, Rudy, I'm never buying Kamigawa or Streets of uh, Copacabana. I know you like Barry Manilow, but I'm telling you, Rudy. They did a million boxes of draft, and I think it was a million collectors. What? Do you even physically know what a million... If a draft pallet has 804 booster boxes on it, do you, do you understand what a million booster boxes divided by 804 boxes per pallet, what that would even look like? It's not real. Okay. Supplemental. I don't want to spend too much time on this part because this is, supplemental is going to be uh, fat packs, blister packs, you know, Walmart, Target, you know, uh, Rudy's backyard base. I'm, I'm sorry. I'm not going to say fat packs. That's inappropriate. Uh, safety bundles with safety harnesses, uh, blister packs, theme decks, you know, what I call Timmy purchases, small ticket items, impulse buying of friends or family. People who don't know what magic is, they go to the store, they accidentally buy it, and you know, you know, your boyfriend comes home and he's like, look, I accidentally was walking along, I slipped, and I landed there. I, I landed inside of the product. What are we talking about? And that, you know, just dumb stuff. Just absolutely dumb things. So, but, supplemental products. I mean, what are the, how many Walmarts are in the country? Four, 5,000 Walmarts? Let's just say 4,000. I think it's almost 5,000 now. If there's like four to 5,000 Walmarts, and the average Walmart even gets one refill, of magic product times four or five thousand locations you can easily see why x amount of millions is going to be run through supplemental products through big box and through retail non-amazon walmart target gamestop rudy stop uh i don't know only fans back page all that crap so i'm going to just straight up to say all this goofy supplemental stuff <laughs> i'm going to put it at just 10 percent. i'm going to put 10 million between the fat packs i know it's inappropriate you know theme um you know blister you know, all kinds of just random, you know, individual collector packs, individual set. Just, I'm going to put just a random 10% of it just gets thrown through there. Same thing. Non-English, all the different languages. I know they discontinue Russian and like certain Chinese language. I, I'm not smart enough geopolitically. I don't follow the events. I know Russia and the wars, all that crazy stuff. But I don't know what languages they are or not doing. 
but I'm going to say, I'm going to call that easily, around the world, I'm going to call that 15%. In other words, outside the U.S., you know, Canada, North America, South America, Europe, you know, Asia Pacific countries. I guess they're not doing Russia anymore. China, Japan, Singapore. I I'm just going to literally assume 100 million, 10, 15 percent. What? 15 million? Let's just make a supplemental number. And I'm going to assume zero percent for digital. I'm going to assume that that digital revenue is categorized under the digital a different basket. But Wizards could easily fluff that number by using digital Kamigawa purchases. But I'm gonna, just for this video, to make it the most overprinted and look most dramatic, I'm gonna put this at zero to try to make people the most triggered as possible. How much money is that? Um, what do we got here? Where are we at? Where are we at? Seriously. Um, what do we got? 18, 4, 22, plus uh, 22, that's 44. 44 plus what, 24, uh, 44 plus, really? Are we already that high? Did I do that right? 44 plus 20, that's already 60. It's like 68, 78, 88, 93. That's like 93 million right there. Did I do that right? Maybe I'm wrong. Uh, beat me up in the comments. That's already almost 100 million. And that's based on literally zero digital. Based on, I think actually, this supplemental category actually is probably a little higher because, you know, I, now that I'm thinking about it, there's individual draft, individual set, individual collectors on hanger packs. I mean, look at the double masters. All these people selling it's one single pack of Double Masters on eBay and listing it as a whole box of collector packs. So I have a feeling that supplemental. I'm, I'm actually raise. I'm going to raise a supplemental to 15. I have a funny feeling, and that puts it at 98 million. I have a feeling that might be a little higher because I was like, man, all those single packs of all those things. If each Walmart and Target, and there's four or five thousand WalMarts, and each one gets a stack of, of singles times that, dude, that's a lot. Anyways. So, in conclusion, folks, we're already at... Wow, that is the most dumb-looking 98 million. Sorry, that is the worst-looking eight. I may be slightly stupid. I eat crayons every Wednesday afternoon. So, that's already almost 100 million. That's based on a quarter million sealed draft boxes. A quarter million... I'm sorry. 270K draft, 275 set, and only 150 collector. Who the fuck thinks there's a million boxes of each set? Rudy, there's eight... I mean... The messages I've seen, about 900,000, 850. I saw one person said, Rudy, 1.2 million boxes. I was like, maybe that's how many times your ex slipped and landed into the neighbor? But dude, that is not true. That's just not real. Like, this, look, I know I'm basing these assumptions with people who are going to hate and attack me on. They're basing on my ranges, for example, the supplemental, the non-English around international. And again, and God forbid... Holy hell, if this number is part of that, which my instinct says it is, but I purposely left it out, and digital is even 10, 15%, well, you can, you can immediately shave 10, 15% off every number. So instead of 270,000, that's 240. Instead of 275, 245. Instead of 150,000 collector, now you're like 120, 130. Like this, these numbers, in my opinion, can only go lower. In my opinion, this is the highest of the print run. This is based on the worst case scenario. If, the, if anything else shifts, all these numbers go down. So you want to fucking tell me that some other new company or someone's going to come along and I want to print a quarter million boxes, I'm going to print 200,000 boxes, fucking magic of 30 years around the fucking globe is only printing this. And it's the most powerful, biggest thing. Well, the Rudy Pokemon printed 3 billion. It... The 3 billion is a raw number that has no relevance. You're taking something out of context, you're putting it on a news article to trigger idiots. Okay? And you want to fact, okay, do you want to calculate every card in every pack and say, well, Rudy, this is, this is like a billion cards right here. So does anybody care about a billion cards? Okay, 995 million out of a billion are commons. It means nothing. Wizards and Hasbro already know this. They're expanding margins by going to Papa Bezos and Penis Rockets. They're reducing packs per box and increasing rares and mythic hits per box to reduce quantity of cards printed to have healthier margins for Papa Hasbro because the share price in the stock sucks and I've got five, ten thousand shares and the fucking share price sucks. Not a financial advisor. Kitty cat. Meow. I just don't understand people with this crazy ass print run nonsense. All right. I'll calm down. Part three of this video. The point of me going over all this, 
on this hot, sweaty Florida day is that this concept is a couple things. I know after I make this video, I'm going to get bombarded with messages. It's going to get shared on different, all the new, the, the Flesh and Blood, the MetaZoo, Pokemon. It's going to get shared on all these other supplemental new games. And I already know one of the biggest things is going to be, look at, is going to be people saying, Rudy did a breakdown. Because Wizards and Hasbro actually gave us a real number that I can back into, giggity. And I know it's already going to be used against all these other card games of proof how they're overprinting and they won't fucking cut their print runs. Well, I've been preaching that for a year. I don't own the companies. I don't involved. I give my opinion. Now, what they're doing and how they're adjusting and how they're going to make it, I don't know. Only time is going to present the answer to that, okay? The market will judge everybody based on the true data. No matter what I say, no matter what you say, no matter what the company says, just because I love MetaZoo. Make fun of me. I still love Flesh and Blood. It's like a fucking family member thing. I just, it's so close to me. I'm, I've been a part of it since the beginning. Same thing with MetaZoo. I love them, okay? And I'm going to stay with it. And you know what? If it fails in the future, it fucking fails. If it goes to the moon and keeps doing 10 years of success, that's fantastic. I don't know, okay? I'm the same guy who bet my life on cardboard and magic and Pokemon the last 20 years. I don't know what's going to happen. But what I do know is, in my opinion, this is the most accurate breakdown of Kamigawa print run information you're ever going to fucking see on the internet. Okay? And it's only because we have this number, and I know exactly what those numbers are, although I rounded them to make them not look oddly specific where I could get in trouble. Okay? I can tell you for a fact... Distributors pay more than $70 a draft box to Wizards. By the way, this is not including the new Wizards price increase. So I assure you, when Dominaria comes out in 30, 60 days, this number will be shattered. Even if they print the same damn shit, this number is going to be 110 to 120 if they print the same amount. And that, if they print the same amount for Dominaria... Wizards and Hasbro, I, I, I shouldn't even own their stock because it'd be the, that means they're the dumbest company literally since Enron and Blockbuster used to eat at Olive Garden. They're the dumbest company ever. Why? Because this collector, highest margin item on here for 200 bucks, 150,000 boxes, that collector print run needs to be 250 to 300. That's what I would do. And I would jack this shit to about... <laughs> I would bring it to 120, 130 million. Then you got the 15% price increase, which would push me to 150 million plus, so that I have record margins, record growth rate in Wizards and Magic. And Q3, Q4 and Hasbro, the stock fucking does well when they report these juicy things because of Dominaria, collector boxes, and lost legends in your basement. You know, whatever stupid story is going on. Okay? You guys know that they didn't find those boxes. They've known they've had them all along. Is that really a thing? Or are we all past that? Oh, no, the, the, some people still think they reprint them. Okay, so that's where we're at. I, I just wanted to take a video today. I know I don't do enough whiteboard videos. I, don't, I apologize for ranting and raving and cursing so much. I know a lot of families and groups and people like to watch these, especially the uh, whiteboard discussions. I don't have the time usually to spend a whole afternoon or day, or it takes me four to six hours. I don't really have the time to do a lot of these whiteboards and get to this location at the office when I've been dealing with a lot of other things. But I really felt it was important and we've hit a point where it needs to be addressed on what the big boy in the industry, Papa Bezos, Papa Bezos, Papa Hasbro, with the stepbrother Bezos, of what I believe is actually being printed and sold. So again, I'm not going to call anyone else out, but I'm telling you, this is what the big boy's doing. If Rudy the card game was starting out, you shouldn't fucking come close to these numbers. You need to be literally 10% of your print runs. You need to take the fucking zeros off. Your print runs need to be 25,000 boxes. And then if you grow, 35,000 boxes. This is where we're at. This is what I know. I know what this number is because they told us. I know exactly what these numbers are because I've seen the documentation and I have the people, the connections to talk to multiple people who can confirm it. These are not specifically accurate. This number is higher. This number is actually averaging a little higher on Amazon. This price is actually, that's actually within, very accurate. Uh, collector boxing, the only thing I don't have specifics on was like supplemental, because I know Walmart, Target, Big Box have to have certain margins for retail, 
and they are very sticky in particular on particular items in their shelf space. So I know the margins are a little nastier on supplemental retail. Non-English, keep in mind, this number can also positively or negatively impact this top number because this is quoted in US dollars and this revenue is generated in non-US dollars. And with a strong US dollar or anything, this could either weaken or strengthen that number and make you look smarter or more of an idiot based on currency exchanges which you can't control, market forces, okay? So, and again, I'm gonna say it one last time. This right here, this is the kryptonite. I don't want to do that. It looks like a virus cell or something. This is here. We'll put it. We'll put legs in a happy face or, or Rudy's hat. There we go. This right there, that is actually the key thing. I made this video because I want to show you all what I felt the highest possible number is. Okay, and I believe ten percent of that number is actually probably digital. Worst case scenario, five percent. Best case scenario, fifteen percent. I think five to 15% of actually revenue is going through Magic Arena and digital shit because a lot of people spend a lot of money on virtual stuff. Look at everything from the POEs to the Diablos to any of the cell phone games to all these little things, Clash of Clans and Boom Beaches and Candy Crushes and the bug games. and There's so much money in this. And I don't even want to go into that because if you assumed 15% of that number was coming from this, that knocks that number to 85 million. You take 85 million, you chop another 15 million off from supplemental and retail, or I'm sorry, I'm sorry, and then another 15 million from non-English. So you take 30 million off? If you put digital into this, that's 85 million now. From 85 million, you take off the 30, now we're down to 55 million for these numbers. That means you're gonna crush all these print runs even lower. I've been trying to say it for years upon years, okay? From when I started YouTube in 2016, 2017, 2018, the more I learned, the more I discovered about these quantities and how much is printed, the palette information. You guys can't see on camera. Not here. You know what? Fuck it. Whatever. We're having fun, right? We're almost out of the cruel summer. I'm going to show you guys something. This is the stuff you guys don't see on camera. And we're late in the video, so everyone's already made fun of me and, you know, fuck off and whatever. This is hundreds upon hundreds. Shit. Hundreds upon hundreds of palette documentations. I've been saving them for seven years and I've been tracking them, charting them. I have palette information from every, this is Modern Horizons 1 all the way to Modern Masters all the way, what is this? Modern Horizons Commander Anthology gift boxes, the firecracker gift boxes. I've been tracking oh fuck, now I dropped them everywhere. I've been tracking this stuff for ages because when pallets are manufactured they number the pallets if you handle enough pallets and you work with enough stores and everybody's sharing their pallet information and you you compile the data of how many pallets you can get a rough idea and i've been telling everybody for years and you know what i get in return you know i get in return typical bs fake garbage you can't have a conversation on social media or reddit just straight up nobody really wants the real information. That's why, and you know what? I think Wizards does a phenomenal job of not giving the public information. And you know what? I don't think the public deserves information because the public doesn't appreciate shit anymore. Everybody's negative. All they want to do is attack every store. Every distributor is terrible. Every content creator is terrible. Do you know how many messages I get? Say, Rudy, those other magic content creators, YouTubers are terrible compared to your videos. Why would you say that? Rudy, my local store, Saw one employee in the back, didn't eat a taco, ate a hamburger, piece of shit. The, the negativity is beyond me. And you know what? Wizards is right. The public should have the least amount of available information as possible. I've had nothing but resistance, nothing but attacks, nothing but threats, and nothing but garbage in seven years in a row of raking uh, this channel. And I'll give you guys a pro tip. Yeah, I make the channel and this whole business in my life because I'm an adult. All right, I like to tell myself that because I try to make money. Number two, here's a, here's a crazy thing. Here's a crazy thing. I literally sell and deal in cardboard. And you would think I'm like some international lord of some, I don't even know, of what you hear on the internet. And the things that people show me or pe things to talk about me, things people talk about other people. It's insane, folks. I need a drink. Last part of the video here. Let's do this. Last part. End of the video. Point of the video is, folks, is 
here's real information. You want it, you want to know what to do with it, doesn't matter. And before I end the video, there's one other thing I want to tell you. This is how proud they were of how much money they've made. Okay? So imagine this. Imagine this. Six years ago, I come on YouTube and I start talking about Dark Ascension is underpriced at 90 bucks. Avison Restored just broke 110. It's underpriced. Scars of Mirrodin is only $100. should be 500 plus. Uh, Kaladesh. Yeah, boy, got that one wrong, Rudy. All these things. Imagine back then when all these dumbasses, endless amounts of internet scholars, were just screeching and screeching, printed to oblivion. Remember that from 2017, 2018 era? Everything was worthless. Imagine that. And all those numbers back then were probably half of these numbers. Okay? Hour of Devastating Your Wallet was such a bullshit garbage dumpster fire. Ixalan, rivals of Ixalan, did so poorly, they were cut off early. And imagine how much lower these numbers are. This stupid, worthless internet market noise is why people never make money. Rudy, I'm going to predict the stock market. Rudy, I'm going to predict what's going to happen next. No, you're not! I can't predict it, and my entire life is cardboard. I literally have probably a thousand sheets of data from internal wizards and paperwork and pallets and everything I'm stepping on right now. And I still can't predict it. If I did, and I was able to predict it, why would I buy into every set? If I knew exactly what was going to happen, I would funnel everything into just Throne of Eldraine. But I don't. So I try to keep a palette of every set. Because I don't know. Nobody, even with the data, you can't predict market conditions. And the problem with all this stuff is, the more you understand this, the more you see things very differently. The more you try to talk about this to other people, the more pushback and problems you're going to get. And the end of this video now, I just want to emphasize. Imagine if all these numbers were half, or less than half, 5, 10, 15 years ago. Imagine that. And now you're telling me, pff, Rudy, call a dash at 400 a box. I mean, you, you know they probably printed a million of those, right? Really? You think that, huh? Four or five years ago, when they weren't making this much, there was no collector boxes. Call it Esh probably brought in maybe 20, 30 million. <laughs> and, you th <clears throat> and you think there was a million boxes printed? The only difference is instead of distributors paying this number, maybe they were paying 65 a box before multiple price increases. The more you look at raw data, and you take everything else out of the equation, the more you understand why I do this, and the more you understand the opportunity in the stuff long term, the more you realize, well, most people are wrong. And that's why most people never make money. And that's why most people never get ahead. And quite frankly, most people don't deserve to get ahead. Because they're too busy being fueled with emotion and not enough logic and not enough independent thinking. Hope you guys learned something. Whatever. Have a great day.